What if you could be anywhere on the planet and instantly have access to high-speed internet? That's right, no need for anyone to build a wired connection across some of the most intense terrain known to man. We're talking a system that connects a user's home directly to a satellite so they can enjoy some Fortnite lag-free from the middle of nowhere. Oh, and did we mention that this would all be courtesy of Elon Musk? Today, we're talking about Starlink, a division of SpaceX, and just how it's going to get the fastest download speeds to anyone by the year 2022. If you haven't heard of Starlink, let's catch you up to speed. Starlink is a division of Elon Musk's SpaceX, a company valued at $72 billion. The name Starlink is no coincidence, as it is literally a network that started its development way back in 2015. The first prototype satellites were launched in 2018. Now, over 1,000 satellites are in orbit. In fact, in January of this year, SpaceX launched 60 satellites into orbit using the relaunchable Falcon 9 orbital rocket, which costs 50 million bucks. Today, up there right now, are an astonishing 1,737 satellites. Together, they are known as the Constellation, and what they can do is going to change the world and change it much sooner than you think. See, the goal of Starlink is simple sell high-speed internet to anyone in the world. All you'll need is a satellite dish and a router, and you'll be good to go. If you think about it, that's actually kind of insane. This opens up the possibilities of connecting people globally by an unheard amount. No more needing to wire up your home or office with the latest high-speed cables, and gone will be the need for wiring to reach your town if it happens to be located far away from a metropolis. Starlink's website says it all when it states, Starlink is ideally suited for areas of the globe where connectivity has typically been a challenge. Unbounded by traditional ground infrastructure, Starlink can deliver high-speed broadband internet to locations where access has been unreliable or completely unavailable. Starlink wants this to be as easy to use and install as possible as well. They have an app for iOS and Android which utilizes augmented reality to help customers pick the best possible location to set up their satellite dish. Now, we see you sitting there all skeptical. Just how fast can the service actually be? Is this for real? Or is this more grandiose claims from a billionaire that is the closest thing we have to a real-life Tony Stark? Well, let's talk stats. Speed-wise, Starlink has been very open about what people can expect once they set up their new satellite dish and router. They've clocked speeds of 50 to 150 megabits per second and latency ranging from 20 to 40 milliseconds. To put this in perspective for you, in quarter one of 2021, Verizon Fios had the fastest average speeds of internet providers at just over 160 megabits per second. That's pretty close. But Elon Musk, ever vocal on Twitter, has stated that by the end of 2021, Starlink will be providing an impressive 300 megabits per second. Hey, that'd be pretty gosh darn awesome. We'll see if Starlink actually gets those speeds by the end of this year, though. After all, Elon has been known to make some pretty ambitious claims over social media in the past. And recently, John Kim from CNET signed up for the service at his home, located in California, and he reported average speeds of 78 megabits megabits per second, with latency around 36 milliseconds. Basically, what we're saying is, we believe in you, Elon, but it sounds like there's some work to do. Hey, speaking of signing up for Starlink, how much will this service cost? After all, if the goal is to connect the most remote locations on the planet, it better be affordable. So what do we know about the fees, monthly cost, and all that jazz? In a cheeky fashion that is perfectly in line with Mr. Musk's eccentric personality, the current beta program has been named Better Than Nothing. We see what you did there, Elon. And it costs $99 per month and a one-time payment of $500 when you start the service. This is to cover the satellite and the router. Believe it or not, pre-orders are up for grabs right now, although be warned, these orders will be filed on a first-come, first-served basis and could take up to six months to fill. Better sign up now, folks. Ah, but here's one more thing you should know in case you aren't the one paying your current fiber internet bill. Spectrum's monthly cost is $49.99 a month. Yeah, that means Starlink is just about double what its competitors are offering. And frankly, it's just a bit slower than the competition as well. 
but Musk is confident that the price won't be a deterrent. After all, these high speeds will be reaching anyone and everyone all over the globe, including rural areas that may never have had a chance to have high-speed internet in the first place. Honestly, we see his point. To quote the aptly named beta program, Starlink is better than nothing. So what about funding? Just how is Starlink going to get up off the ground? Is it coming completely out of Elon Musk's pocket? Cause like, we're pretty sure he can afford it. The man is worth $151 billion at the time of producing this video. So is that where the dough for this project is coming from? Actually, funding is coming from a few places. Check this out. The Federal Communications Commission, or the FCC, has awarded SpaceX just about $886 million in funding as part of a program to, you guessed it, bring high-speed, reliable internet to even the most rural areas of the United States. Actually, in total, there were 180 companies that were awarded money as a part of this program. The money was part of the first phase of the FCC's Rural Digital Opportunity Fund auction. Believe it or not, there was a total of $9.2 billion given out. It looks like the FCC is serious about everyone having internet too. In fact, the FCC's chairman, Ajit Pai, was quoted as saying, I'm thrilled with the incredible success of this auction, which brings welcome news to millions of unconnected rural Americans who for too long have been on the wrong side of the digital divide. They now stand to gain access to high-speed, high-quality broadband service. All this funding will reportedly take 10 years to divvy out, and SpaceX specifically has been assigned 642,925 locations all across 35 states. Honestly, we're excited for Mr. Musk and the rest of the companies that are part of this program. Getting high-speed internet out to everyone for a great price would be a huge advancement for the human race. We'd be more connected, more informed, and frankly, we'd have more awesome video games to play than ever before. Musk, ambitious as ever, has stated companies can expect Starlink to be up and running by 2022. Really, the only contingent here is if the rocket launches go off without a hitch. Here's hoping. Hey, before we go, we got one final fact for you that is sure to blow your mind. Starlink may in fact be a practice run for SpaceX setting up wireless networks on Mars. Yes, you heard that right. SpaceX feels that if they can get wireless internet up and running here, then the same technology can be utilized on the Red Planet. Check out this quote from SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell in 2016. If you send a million people to Mars, you better provide some way for them to communicate. I don't think the people who go to Mars are going to be satisfied with some terrible, old-fashioned radios. They'll want their iPhones or Androids on Mars. We gotta say, Miss Shotwell, we're inclined to agree. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. It helps us out here so much. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can be notified the next time one of our videos goes up all about the wealthy and the well-off. We will see you next time right here on The Richest.